Some of these will be harder to find, but all of them you'll be able to get over 500 bucks for. So the way I found these is I looked at men's jackets on eBay and I, I filtered for $500 and over. And I went through and I sorted through all the data and put it in a easy to understand format. And here we are. So this is going to be 44, 44 jackets, jackets and jacket brands that you can sell for over 500 bucks. As we go through these, I'm going to give you some context and a little bit of information about each, each one in this list. So first we have and wander. So the sell through rate is 47% and there's 56 market size. Market size is the actives and sold added together. Here's a look at some of the ones that have sold for the most money. A waterproof jacket made in Japan, diamond stitch down jacket. That's a theme you'll see in all jackets um, over the past handful of years. Puffer jackets have been a thing and down puffers have been the best of those. You see the hooded jackets are almost always worth the most, but not always. So N Wander is a brand that I wasn't too familiar with, but here is a perfect example. They do a lot of collaboration, so it's hard to know sometimes if it's even an N Wander piece. But their own stuff, the branded stuff, has like a triangle logo. It looks like this. It's very blurry, but it's a a triangle like that and it says and wander on it it's a very nondescript looking tag too look at that you would see that and you would think it was some kind of Walmart brand or something just because it's so silly looking but it's not and wander is a brand you can get a lot of money for especially with the collabs and by the way this list is a semi alphabetical there was a few that I screwed up and, and stuck in there but next Arctrix, everybody knows this brand or should know this brand. They're famous for their jackets, their shirts, even their shorts. Basically, all the outerwear you can think of, Arctrix, they, they, they have lots of merino too. So Arctrix is like out there basically winning the outdoors category along with a few other brands. But they have a sell-through rate of 182%, which means any Arctrix jacket you find, pick it up and sell it. The market size is 6,500. This is one that you might actually find out there. So any Arctrix you find, grab it. And these are the ones that go for the most. The Leaf Alpha Jacket, Leaf Cold, there's another Leaf Alpha, Gen 1 Crocodile Jacket, another Leaf Alpha, another Leaf Alpha, I'm not 100% sure what makes something a Leaf Alpha, but let's take a look at this so we can see. It looks like it's a hooded jacket or just a tall neck. Nope, it's hooded. It looks waterproof or at the very least water resistant. It's Gore-Tex, of course. Gore-Tex is a fabric, if you're not familiar with it, that they put on some, some uh, outerwear, which I believe is waterproof and lasts a long, long, long time. All right, so the Leaf Alpha, look for this kind of jacket. It's got, looks like Velcro uh, on the sleeves. It's got zippers. It's semi-waterproof. It's Gore-Tex and has a hood. If you find one of those, definitely grab it. Grab anything, Arctrix. Next, we have the Averex Bomber, specifically the Averex Bomber. These have a sell through of 105% and a market size of 1816. So they're out there, they're not super common, but they're not super rare either. These are all sorted by the most money, so not they're not all going to sell for this much, but these are the ones you want to grab immediately. Any Averex bomber jacket, it's going to be leather. The Shearling's ones are good too, Shearling Sometimes they'll have sew-on letters, but you see anything that looks even remotely like this, you're going to grab it because it's a guaranteed sale within 90 days. And like I said, 500 bucks and over, they got almost a thousand bucks for this one. Next is Brioni. 
Bioni is known for their suits and suit jackets and men's formal wear. However, they do play in the sandbox of men's jackets as well. As you can see, Brioni goes for a lot of American DeLoreans. This here, five grand, 13,000 buy it now, but it looks like it sold for five grand on one bid. Sell through rate is 45%. Um, total market size is 1745. The stuff is out there. This is brand though. The, the market size is the brand jacket. Brioni jacket is the keywords. So that doesn't mean that these kind of jackets are out there that much. It means that any Brioni jacket and a lot of them are going to be formal wear. So jack the cashmere, some of the suit suit jackets and stuff. And then you get into, like I said, lots of formal wear. But if you find a jacket that's not formal wear by Brioni, chances are very good that you need to pick it up because you could get obviously up to five grand, three grand for a jacket like this. Bruno Cuccinelli. Um, it's not very common. Sell through rate 67%, which is pretty good for a wide search on a brand jacket like that. This guy, $3,000, 149. The double sided deerskin short jacket, cashmere jacket, reversible leather jacket, cashmere peacoat, double breasted. DB is a. Uh, shorthand for double breasted or yeah just know that db means double breasted peacoats peacoats are big i just sold a peacoat for a few hundred bucks so if you see a peacoat a peacoat is an old navy coat or that's where it got its start this is a peacoat usually it's double breasted which means there's two rows of button usually has a notch collar and it's usually navy or black this is out of the ordinary to be this color. This is a more common peacoat. I wouldn't say common because it's suede, but most peacoats are wool. But if you find a peacoat, grab it, even if it's Gap or Old Navy. If you get it cheap enough, peacoats will sell pretty good, especially right now. In the heart of winter, peacoats are great. So Brunel Brunello Cuccinelli, look for it. Uh, Burberry. Clearly, it's a brand everybody should know, a luxury brand. They make all kinds of stuff. 2100 bucks for this shearling um, suede jacket. This eyesore here got two grand. 1999 pesos for this. Looks like the same one as this one. Then this one with the weird things probably got about 1500 Classic Burberry plaid. You see that? That's the Burberry thing. They they copyrighted it. And then you get into all the authenticity guarantee nonsense. But it's out there, Burberry. Like I said, a lot of these you're just probably not going to find. But here's one you just might. Canada Goose. Sell-through rate of 135%. So it's one of the highest sell-through rates for all men's jackets. One of the highest. Total market size is 1913. The stuff is not super rare. The most expensive one here was 2600 American dollars. The Lance Mackey. Again, another Lance Mackey, rare collectible. Canada Goose jacket fur parka. It looks like they do a lot with patches. A lot of the expensive ones have patches. But anything Canada Goose, I, you can be sure Grab it and sell it. You, I mean, look at all of these. We're still getting over $1,000, and we're several down the list here. Now we're getting under 1000 Any Canada Goose, grab it. Parka, jacket, even windbreakers. Anything you find Canada Goose, grab it. Let's look at one of the tags. I've been doing a bad job at tags. Come on and load. My computer's acting like I have 50 tabs open. Canada Goose, right there. That's one of the tags. Keep an eye out for it. It's uh, probably the best overall, all things considered, probably the best overall jacket brand to be picking up right now, especially the down stuff. Next, we have Cockpit USA. This brand, 68% sell-through rate, 417 market size, so it's not likely that you'll find it. If you do, you find one that looks like this, 
you could get up to 1600 bucks. I don't know how these brand new ones got in here. I had the filter on, but it didn't work. Pre-owned. Anyways, just know Cockpit USA. It's bomber jackets. It looks like some Top Gun nonsense. And people spend a lot of money on it. So if you find a Cockpit USA bomber, grab it. Dior. This is a classic luxury brand that's been around for a long, long time. Christian Dior. Their, their sweaters do pretty good, too. The old Dior cashmere sweaters will do pretty good. Jackets, this one got 5900 bucks. This is a puffer. They probably got 25 or more. Puffer, puffer. Any Dior, look for it. They do some collabs, too. So if you find a Dior, just grab it. The tag, it's it just says Dior. But let's look at one just to get it in your mind. There it is. Let's load the picture. Everybody get out your stopwatches. There it is, Dior. Next is another well-known luxury brand, Dolce & Gabbana. You find it, grab it. Sell-through rate on Dolce & Gabbana is 31%. So it's terrible. Why is that, you might ask yourself. A lot of these luxury brands have abysmal sell-through rates. Because not everybody wants to pay $1,500 for a jacket. If you do find one of these luxury brands, however, you have two choices. Okay. Choice one, sit on it for possibly a year and get all the money. Get $600, get $795. Or option two, which is my favorite option, undercut the market unload it, take the profits, and buy 25 more fantastic items and uh, move on. I don't like to be precious uh, whatsoever, and I recommend that you don't be precious either. That being said, it's your business. Do what you want. I don't like to sit on things. I really don't. That's just me. But Dolce & Gabbana jackets, grab them, sell them, good money. Double Helix, this one is extremely rare. 26 market size. That's super small. You're not going to find this. You're just not. There's a very, very low chance you'll ever even see this. But they make leather jackets. This is how they look. Double helix. There's not many of them out there. Let's see if we can find a tag on this here listing. Okay, if you see that, get it. Armena Gildo Zenya. This guy makes suits, suit jackets, sport coats, pants. He even got his own line called Zenya Sport, which does better than, I believe, better than regular Armena Gildo Zenya. I think you buy his stuff at Nordstrom's or one of the, maybe Dillard's, one of the classic uh, mall outlet stores. Not outlet stores, but one of the mall, more fancy mall stores. Either way, they probably got close to four grand for this cashmere hooded jacket. $24.95 for a reversible perforated suede blouse and jacket black. $6,500 jacket that sold probably for $1,500. So again, puffers, suede, leather. Find a Xenia jacket. You're going to want to grab it. Uh, by the way, the sell-through rate is 38%, which is bad because everyone's trying to get all the money. However, the market size is 5,800. You're gonna find this stuff. Will you find these jackets? I'm not sure. But just like Brioni, Xenia makes suits, suit jackets, formal wear, and there's a lot of that shit out there. But the jackets are not as common. These kind of jackets that we're looking for for winter time are not as common. So you may not find them. But if you do, good money. Etro, you find Etro out there, Sell through on these guys is abysmal. 27.44% kids. That's terrible. However, let it be known that you can get $1,500 for a leather jacket used. Or $950 for a suede leisure jacket or whatever you call it. Blazer. This is going to go into mostly the blazer type suit jacket stuff because that's what Etro makes. So if you do find an Etro piece that's like a blazer, 
or a suit jacket. I've even sold their plain white dress shirts for some pretty good money. I found a Paisley shirt with the spread collar. I think I got $60 for it. One of the first things I sold when I first started reselling was an Etro blazer. I think I got 250 bucks for it. It was like a brushed cotton, not brushed cotton, but velour, a cotton velour. The problem with it, I, why I didn't get 500 bucks back then, I think there was like a small stain on it. But Etro, it's a good formal wear brand. Um, and they also, if you find a leather jacket, get it. So next, you should know this brand if, you're, if you've been doing reselling for any amount of time. Fear of God or FOG um, Essentials is one of their big lines. Fear of God stuff, 98.8% uh, sell through, sell -through rate. Total market size 354. It's not super common, but this 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 market size makes it sound like it's really rare, but it's not. I found Fear of God out there a lot. Maybe the jackets are more rare. I found a Fear of God jacket four days ago at the uh, Goodwill down the street, and it hasn't sold yet. But it's out. This stuff really is out there. So I feel like Fear of God's more common than eBay thinks. But if you find it, pick it up, it's going to sell within 90 days. There's a 98% chance of that. And you could get, uh, I don't know, up to 1000 bucks for it. So fear of God. Good brand. Filson, one of the best uh, menswear brands out there right now. 123% sell through it on their jackets. 3800 market size. So right up there with Canada Goose for jackets is Filson. It's not super plentiful, but it's not rare. It's out there, and it's worth a lot of money if you find it. So any Filson jacket, pick it up, and you're going to want to look for the vintage stuff, the leather stuff, the suede stuff, the chore coats, the cruiser jacket. That's what this one is. Anything flannel looking for Filson is going to do well. Just any Filson, if you're new to reselling, and you didn't know that. If you find Filson anything, I don't care if it's, you know, pants, shirts, socks. I don't know if they make socks. Hats, anything. Grab it. Everybody loves Filson. Free note cloth. They do some um, collaborations. But they also have some good regular stuff. Free note cloth has a 75% sell through rate. A very small market size. You're probably not going to ever see this, but 70 market size, 70 total. But if you do 500 bucks, 400, 399, let's take a look at a tag just because I've never seen one of these in real life. Have you ever seen one of these in real life? Have you ever published a picture of a tag that no one can read? Because I have. There it is. Free note cloth. It looks like an old style with an E at the end. Style with an E. It looks like an old style text font. Free note cloth. Get it. Giorgio Armani. Surprise, surprise, surprise. 41% sell through. Market size of 1417 You want the cashmere jackets. You want the shearling sheepskins. You want the black labels. Black labels are, are the ones. The ostrich jacket, you definitely want that. Unless you're the ostrich. And anything leather, anything at all with the Armani label. This is not Armani Exchange. This is Giorgio Armani. Armani Exchange is Giorgio Armani's trash can brand. That you probably don't even want to pick up. The jackets probably, you probably do. In fact, I should probably look into that right now. So we have 709 active. Okay. Armani exchange jacket for men. And sold. 387. So somewhere around, a little, around 50% or so. Not great. And, you know, 18 bucks. 15 bucks, 100 bucks for that one. So, okay, with brands like Armani Exchange, it's a little sidetrack. Okay, 
there are certain jacket styles, just like with other clothing, certain styles will make a not so good brand a good brand. It'll make it sell. Puffer jackets, chore coats, leather jackets, shearling jackets. Shearling jackets are just jackets where the inside is filled with like shearling, like sheep fur. Um, or even sometimes denim with Sherpa inside, which is another, it looks kind of like puffy fleece. Anyways, Armani Exchange, little tangent. It's not very great. It's about 50%-ish. But Giorgio Armani is the one you want. Yeezy? Take it Yeezy. Quit getting so crazy. It is 256 market size. So it's kind of rare. 65% sell through. The best one that sold in 90 days was this $899. Zip up. She looks like a shearling. There's that word. Shearling hooded jacket. Then you got you got a canvas work. Kanye West apparently. Okay. And then another jacket here. A Sherpa lined. So Yeezy. Find it. Sell it. Next we have Gucci. I didn't even want to put some of these in, in here. But like I said, I got the data from going through eBay and looking at over $500 um, sold prices for jackets. Gucci, I don't like the brand as a brand because it carries so much. There's so many fakes. I just, if I find Gucci, I just, I feel like it's fake every time I find it. And most of the times that I have found it, it has been fake. That's just my story. Maybe I'm stupid or unlucky. But either way, the sell-through rate's only 31%, so it's nothing to cry about. However, if you find a Gucci jacket that's not fake, you could get up to five grand for it, or close to five grand for it. But it is a pain in the neck brand to work with. I personally would just avoid it. Here we have Harley Davidson, another brand that, on rare circumstance, I'll pick it up. If you find a Harley leather jacket, that's that's a no-brainer. You're going to pick it up and sell it. The brand sell-through is 53% on jackets. A thousand, or I'm sorry, 10,000 total market size. So in your reselling life, you're probably going to find a Harley Davidson jacket at some point. When you do find it, remember that the sell-through rate is 53%. And some of it isn't going to sell good. What you want are the leather jackets with patches, in good shape with some distressing or some patinaing or whatever they want to say this is pretty good but something's tore to shit with holes and booger stains and stuff you may want to consider leaving it behind because there are a lot of really good shape jackets out there for sale that are going to beat your jacket so if you do find one that's trash can material and you get it for 15 bucks sell it cheap at least triple your money but don't be precious about stuff when it's in terrible condition. That's one of the things I did when I first started, and I still have some of those items. Hermes. Hermes, 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 Herpes. 20, $22.50 for this, like, cashmere down puffer. And there you got a leather, chocolate lambskin. A reversible lambskin. So you find Hermes, it's got a sell-through rate of worst on the list, 14 percent points. That's real good, isn't it? That's just something to be proud of right there, 14% sell-through rate. That means that if you get a Hermes piece and you try to price it up and it's not one of these, it's never, ever, ever going to sell. You're going to have to drop the price and undercut the market to sell Hermes unless it's one of these. Next, we have Ironheart. The people that brought you the $400 flannel shirts also make jackets. Ironheart jackets, it's a Japanese brand. Their jackets are loved. As you can see, the total market size is 315, so it's not very common. But the 61% sell through rate, you want leather, you want suede, you want anything Ironheart. And if you didn't see my flannel shirt video that features Ironheart, this is what the tag, the tag looks like. Okay, Ironheart, for sure. John Varvatos, 
one of the brands that I'm the most sad about because its sell-through rate has gone into the actual dumpster fire toilet of the 10th level of hell. There was a time when I would pick up John Varvato's polo shirts, t-shirts, long sleeves, anything, and it would sell like within a few weeks. Now, I, I don't even bother looking at it up. I mean, I just leave it there. It's now officially a brand that I don't mess with unless it's very special. Unless it's a cashmere piece or a puffer or something. If it's regular, run-of-the-mill stuff, I leave it. That being said, 58% sell-through on the jackets with a market size of 1500 John Varvato's jackets are pretty good stuff if you find them. I haven't found one uh, in, in about a year. But if you do find a Varvatos jacket, don't assume that it's a trash can brand like his other stuff these days because the jackets still do sell pretty well if you find the right ones. Next we have Kith, the kings of collaboration. Almost every piece I find by them is a collab. So Kith, anything, jacket, sell through rate, 41%. Market size, 362, so it's about as common as Fear of God. You're going to look for these, like, it looks like a letterman kind of jacket with the stripes. It's sporty. Here's another one. Here's another one. They also make puffers, but this is the look right here. The sporty letterman look. So anything Kith is going to be a good pickup, especially if it looks like those. Catan. It's another suit brand. They make uh, formal wear, but they also make jackets that sell for 5900 bucks. Imagine that. Rust brown soft matte finished lambskin. Are these the ones that had the Vicuña? Vicun You'll see. It's coming. You'll see. So, Kitan, they make formal wear. They also make these kind of jackets. If you find it, 107% sell through rate. One of the better ones on the list. So, Kitan's a definite pickup. 100%, 100%. Kitan jacket, grab it. Side note Kitan shirts, Kitan blazers. Kitan formal wear in general. Look it up if it's very, very simple. But for the most part, if it's in good shape and it's a shirt or pants or anything, grab it. It's usually going to be worth picking up. Next, we have Langlets. They do quite well. 2200 for that guy. Probably 1500 for that. 1500 1500 So as you see, over 1000 bucks for these leather jackets here by, by uh, Langlets. Next, we have Lanvin. Lanvin, they do 750, 400, 249. Again, another, another brand that does some formal wear, but they also do jackets. The reason these kind of brands made it in here is because, like I said, I got my data from all of eBay, men's jackets, 500 bucks and up. So you're going to see some blazers and stuff. But Lanvin, a brand I've never heard of, 36% sell through, market size of 200. If you happen to see it, get it um, and, and be prepared to sit on it. If you're trying to price it up but if you do get a good piece it can sell for quite a bit of money here it is look at this feast your eyes on this bad boy Laurel Piana is the brand slash fabric type because there are brands that use Laurel Piana fabric it's a fabric house in Italy that other brands will use to make suits and suit jackets and stuff but they also have a house brand Laurel Piana which I have a story for after I finish collecting my breath after looking at this sold listing. This really happened to somebody. This person found this and they made $12,000 in one sale. Now, I've had some pretty good flips in my time. I've never seen anything like this. When I first saw this when I was going through my data making this video, I had to pause for a second and catch my breath because that's, that's shocking. $12,000 really happened. Why, you say? Why is Laurel Piana, a bomber, getting $12,000? Well, if you've got some experience reselling, you already know. It's Vicuña. This is the most expensive fabric that I know of known to man. Don't quote me. I think it's a special kind of alpaca that only lives in a small geographic area or a geometric fence. See, see, I recovered myself from that. And 
it's very, very valuable. As you can see, 12,000 pesos Americanos. That's nuts. That really happened. Laurel Piana, anything, get it. Sell through rate, 131%. Market size, 1,673. Not that rare. If you do find it, it's going to be great. It's going to sell, guaranteed. And this is similar to the one I had. I told you there was a story after that Vicuña thing, and here it is. I found one of these. Laurel Piana Storm Systems. It wasn't quite, it wasn't this exact one. It was a, a little bit different. And it still had the tag on it. Yes, it was new with tags, and it wasn't this this much of it wasn't this good of one, but I did get twelve hundred dollars for it. It's probably my best flip I've ever made. First above my eight hundred dollar Harley Davidson T-shirt flip, which I think I mentioned in another video. Louis Vuitton. I don't even like talking about it because it's such a boring brand that all it does is get people in trouble. That being said, $10,000 for this monogram jacket. Come on now. $9,7500. I mean, come on. Louis Vuitton, if you find it, be prepared to sit on it for a long time if you're asking for the most money because it's 28% sell through. Market size 854. But if you find Louis Vuitton, you might want to pick it up if you want to make a lot of money a long time later. Next, we have Moncler. It's really valuable. It's pretty rare. Uh, apparently, there's 4,800 in the market size, which is not rare at all. The reason I say it's rare is because I've never seen it in the last couple of months. I have seen it before, but I haven't seen it recently, and especially not a jacket. If you find a Moncler piece, be prepared for them to come at you because they don't like people selling their stuff that I know of online. And they have busted a few resellers and made them take it down. And I don't know. If you do find it, it's your you can make your own choice. Moose Knuckles, a brand I didn't know about. Sell through rate 63%, 267 total market size. Look at this, 850 bucks, 700 bucks, 675. And let's move it along here. Next we have the highest sell through rate on the list. But it's very small sample size. It's the Orvis. Bison leather jacket. Very specific type of jacket. This does not mean all Orvis jackets are guaranteed pickups. If you find an Orvis bison jacket, be prepared for a 600% sell through rate and a thousand bucks or 600 bucks or 500 bucks and it just goes down from there. But the sell through rate is unlike anything else on the list. But it is a small sample size. Total piece is seven. Probably not likely to find it, but if you do, amazing. Polo Aviator, it's a specific kind of polo. It's a flight jacket, bomber jacket with shearling. That's what the aviator is. This one's a bleaker, it's not an aviator, but it's still a flight jacket so I can see how it's here. Um, sell through rates 88%, so pretty good. Market size 111. They're not very common, but if you see a leather jacket that looks like this, it's an Aviator by Polo, grab it. Next, we have my favorite Polo subline, Purple Label. Actually, this is my second favorite. No, actually, it's my third favorite. This is my third favorite. 3400 bucks if you find one of these shearling suede leather hoodies. So the purple label is 182% sell through, which is pretty damn good. 133 market size. Any purple label Polo Ralph Lauren jacket, you're going to grab it. You're going to sell it. It's a guaranteed. Here's my personal favorite, RRL. Sell through rate 79%. Total items 410. Bought and sold added up. Total market size 2950 for this guy, but. It looks pretty pretty strange. It's actual calf, uh, cow skin. Shearling Peacoat. 40s inspired motorcycle cowhide leather jacket. 2500 Okay, so there you go. Polo Ralph Lauren RRL. Definite pickup. 410 market size. 
79% sell through rate, like I said. Next is a brand that I've been hearing a lot about and they've been around a long time, but it's Shot. Shot, S-C-H-O-T-T. -T. This is a brand you will find on Huckberry. The sell through rate's only 25% on the jackets, but the market size is 10,000. So there's a lot of these out there. This one sold for 1,500 and he got 1,100, 1,100. You see a common theme here. I, I always got to point this stuff out when I make these long videos so that the headline doesn't get buried, right? This video is about expensive jackets that you can find and make a lot of money on with one flip. That's what it's about. But during the course of the video, hopefully you're learning certain things are always true. Leather jackets, leather jackets with shielding on the inside, flight looking jackets, bomber looking jackets, puffer jackets, hoodies that are suede. Um, these are common things that you'll find. So shot, grab shot. It's a good brand and the jackets will sell for good money, but you'll be waiting a long, long, long time to sell it. Stefano Ricci, sell through rate is 65%, total market size 71, so it's not common at all. You find a Ricci, you could get $1,600, 1200 750 Let's look at one of these tags. I've never seen one. All these other brands, I've at least seen them or seen the tags. That's what it looks like. All right, well, that's a badge. Let's look at the actual tag. There it is. Black with yellow or white embroidery. All right, that's it. Stone Island, another brand that is on fire with other stuff like flannel shirts, other clothing, but Stone Island is, is pretty popular right now. 76% sell through rate, 70, 791 total pieces bought and sold on eBay in the last 90 days. Anything by Stone Island that's a jacket is a good chance you should pick it up because you could get, you know, that's 900 bucks right there. 900, 700, 760. So Stone Island, definite grab. Let's, let's look at a tag. Since I, a lot of people haven't seen one, there it is. It looks kind of silly, but that's it. Supreme with North Face. This is a very popular collab, so much so that the sell through rate is 87%, with 283 total bought and sold on eBay in 90 days. $3,000 for a pre owned puffer jacket. North Face with Supreme, 2700, 2400, 899. So, North Face with Supreme, it's not as rare as you think. If you do find it, it's a definite grab. Next, we have your buddy Todd Snyder. We're supposed to, but that's not what we have. So, we'll go back to, to that. This is Vintage Military Bombers. No brands here, just the, the keywords Vintage Military Bomber Jackets. Could be any brand really. The sell through rate's 55%, 2800 full market size, right? Any vintage military bomber. You can tell it's vintage by looking at the tag and researching it. If it looks old and beat up, chances are it's vintage. Averex, we already went over that. That's one of the best. But any vintage military bomber leather jacket, or even if it's canvas, any vintage military bomber jacket, get it. Next, we have Pendleton, Vintage Pendleton, specifically vintage. Sell through rate, 100%. Um, total market size, 2800 The Ortega jacket, if you find that Sasquatch, you grab that thing. At least take a picture of it if you can't afford to buy it. $599 for the wool coat. All these with the Southwestern, Aztec, all of them except for the camo and the plaid. But this, I mean, if you saw this, you'd pick it up anyway, even if it was George. Just because, look at that pattern. I don't know, man, George. It takes a lot for me to pick up a George. But if it was wool and it had this pattern, I still would pick it up. Even though it's probably the worst brand on the internet. Yves Saint Laurent, YSL. Okay, market size, 1176 Sell through rate, 36%. Classic luxury brand trash can sell through, but if you find it, 800, 650, 600, YSL. Let me show you a tag. Oh look, Drake 
Drake wore it, so that's why people like it, I guess. All it takes is one celebrity spotting. In the days of Instagram and TikTok, all it takes is one celebrity sighting wearing a brand. There it is. That's what the tag looks like. I found several pieces over the years. And I'm not su I haven't I honestly I haven't been super impressed with it as a brand. But jackets pretty good. So now, what do we need to do? We need to get the Todd Snyder that somehow the tab tag got lost. 337 active. I can tell you before I do this, the sell through rate's 156%. Always specify used. It's men's, okay? Used. Okay. Let's look at the solds and sort by most money. Okay. 850, 810. Any Todd Snyder jacket is a definite pickup. 156% sell through rate, so it's a guaranteed sell within 90 days as long as you don't. Be the one person that prices it 10 times more than it needs to be. Just look at the look at the comps and put it at a reasonable price. You don't have to undercut Put it up for $849 if it's this. Or even maybe a little bit more. Todd Snyder is one of the best men's brands, in my opinion, out there right now. Because it's semi-plentiful with certain items. And its sell-through is really good on almost everything I found. Okay, bye.